Hey, this is PJ with CLK Supplies, and this is the Rytan RY200 semi-automatic key duplicator. Like all Rytan machines, they are made in the USA and have had a long reputation of being the most accurate and reliable key duplicators on the market today. Now what I mean by semi-automatic is you'll see this lever right here when I move it back and forth, moves this whole carriage back and forth, and when you release this little pin here at the bottom, there's spring tension that holds the carriage when you put the key in it against the tracer and the cutter. So you're essentially just kind of holding on to the carriage and you're just guiding it back and forth with this lever here. Now the RY200 comes with a four-way jaw, which not only accommodates standard style keys for like residential, padlock, mailbox, but also the wide variety of automotive style keys. So um, to find the right groove to switch it, you just release this jaw here, you pull this up, and then you rotate it to whatever jaw you need. So it's real nice, simple, and easy to use. The RY200 also comes with this deburring kit here on the side, so you can deburr the keys after you duplicate them. It comes with a specialized jaw, so when you need, when you need to cut keys like a KW10 that has that first flat cut in it, this type of cutter, can accommodate that no problem next it has the micro adjuster for the um, for the tracer so if your keys do start um, get a little miss um, aligned in the depth you can easily just um, loosen a couple allen wrenches and adjust this and keep it accurate along with that it also has this spring tensioned um, aligner that will accommodate both shoulder style keys and tip style keys so you can align the, the put the um, tip style keys right in here, and then you can align it right here on the tip. So that's kind of uncommon for key machines that use this type of um, aligner. Typically, these are only gonna work for the shoulder, and then you have to use like a little bar or something to hold the um, for the tip stop. So that's a really nice feature. Now, let me go ahead and put a key in here, and I'll show you how to cut it. Now you'll notice as I uh, turn the key machine on, it's super quiet, which is really nice in a commercial setting. Um, so your customers, um, when the key machine turns on, um, they don't feel like they're going deaf on you. So as we'll, as what we'll do here is we'll um, align the shoulder stop right here, tighten that key down. We'll adjust this one to the shoulder like that. Go ahead and tighten it down like that. We'll go ahead and release this down. We'll turn the machine on. We'll release this pin on the bottom to bring this up. Bring the key, key here to the start, and we'll just slowly walk it through. Now as you can see, when I kind of go between each cut, I kind of go back and forth to make sure we get it. It's always good practice when you duplicate a key to go all the way down, and then trace it all the way back. And by, by kind of rocking it right between the cuts there. Just like that. So that's how you duplicate a key on the RY200. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.